Bidding wars. If you're a home buyer in Toronto, it's inevitable you're going to get caught up in one. So I've got the rules when it comes to bidding wars and it's coming up. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me or if it's your first time here, my name is Mike Lind and I'm a real estate agent in Toronto's most underrated neighborhood, Scarborough. So if you're a home buyer in Toronto right now, you're going to get caught up in a bidding war. And if you've been out there already looking and placing bids and lost out, and you feel like you got cheated, well, I'm here to explain the rules around bidding wars here in Ontario. So according to the Real Estate Council of Ontario, the Code of Ethics clearly states that the listing agent has to inform anybody that has a registered offer on the property as to how many offers are actually registered on the property. Code of Ethics also says that a listing agent cannot make up that there are a certain amount of offers. Buyers that have an offer registered on a property have a right to know how many offers there are before they actually present their offer. The listing agent also has to let everybody know if they have their own offer on the property and they also have to let them know if an agent from their office has an offer on the property. So are there any rules when it comes to setting up multiple offers? Not really. It's, we're kind of in the wild west right now. So when you see properties listed at 899000 and you know the properties are going for well over $1.2 in that neighborhood, that's because when a property is set low in terms of price, that's getting the interest built up in the property. Lots of showings, lots of people wanting to put offers on it because they think if they go, you know, $100,000 over the asking price, they can get it. And you know, they're not even close. So when it comes to rules around listing prices, there aren't any. You can set the listing price at whatever you want. It's what they're willing to accept is a completely different story. Now, rules about offer dates. Again, Wild West here. There are no hard and set rules. A seller can choose to put an offer date, let's say for a week after it hits the MLS but they can also change their mind and decide to take an offer beforehand. The only rule around that is that if an offer does come in before the offer date that's set in the listing, the listing agent does have to let everybody that has shown the property that the offer date has been bumped up. And also there are no rules as to what specific date offers can be looked at. It can be weekends, it can be weekdays, it could be mornings, afternoons, no rules or regulations here. So a lot of times what you'll see is offers will be looked at on Tuesday, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. I like this situation because it allows buyers to get their financing in order before the offer date. That way there's no financing condition in the offer. It also gives them an opportunity if, uh, if a home inspection is available to review the home inspection, or if a home inspection is not available, gives them the option to decide if they want to do a home inspection before the offer date. Again, less conditions in the offer, the better for the sellers and gives the seller a good, or sorry, gives the buyer a good opportunity to buy that house. So another area where I wish there were some rules in place when it is when it comes to registering offers. As it stands right now, there are no rules in place in terms of who you call to register your offer. Do you offer or do you register your offer with the brokerage? Do you call the agent directly and register with them? Do you register via email or send a text? But I mean, in terms of registering the offer, who does it go through? So the only real rules set out in the Code of Ethics from the Real Estate Council of Ontario is for the listing agent to keep all parties that have a registered offer informed of how many offers are on the property. They have to let you know if they have their own offer. And they also have to let you know if somebody from their office has their own offer on the property. The other thing that I forgot to mention earlier, and I'll mention it now because it is quite important, is if any agents have reduced their commission, then that has to be disclosed to everybody because that gives that offer an advantage over the others. So if one agent is willing to cut their commission, then all agents have to be willing to cut their commission or it gives that offer an advantage. Now, a lot of times in-house rules, don't allow agents to cut the commission. That has to be dealt with beforehand with the buyer directly. And I'll get into that on another Helpful. video. If you've so, been through a bidding war and you've lost, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it and what happened, whether you felt like you were cheated out of it or if you were dealt fairly. So there you have it. Those are the rules and regulations when it comes to bidding wars here in Ontario. I hope you found the information helpful. 
If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below or reach out directly and I promise you I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.